Albion keeper Ben Foster was stranded for Rajiv Ben Lapara's magnificent winner, which was Huddersfield's first Premier League goal from outside the area. Huddersfield manager David Wagner says the club's journey to the top 10 of the Premier League has been something unbelievable. After watching his 10 men mark the second anniversary of his appointment by beating West Brom, the 46 year old German who replaced Chris Powell on 5 November 2015 with Town 18th in the championship, saw the Terriers move into the top half of the table with a gritty victory. Town survived defender Christopher Schindler's 57th minute sending off to extend Albion's miserable run of form and increase the focus on manager Tony Pulis. Dutchman Rajiv Van Lapara claimed the points for the West Yorkshire side with a stunning 20-yard shot that curled into the top corner just before halftime. This is one of the highlights since I arrived at this club. Two weeks ago we beat Manchester United but the win today was another big moment for this club, said Wagner. But it is the reality that we are in the Premier League now. If you know where we started two years ago then this is something unbelievable. Extraordinary. Quote. Media playback is not supported on this device Wagner, over the moon, following West Brom win. German defender Schindler was sent off after receiving a second yellow card in the 57th minute. But Albion could not use their numerical advantage to break the hosts down and find an equalizer. Substitute Solomon Rondon headed their best chance inches wide of the left-hand post as Pulis saw his team extend their winless run to nine Premier League games. Terriers keeper Jonas Losel produced two acrobatic saves in injury time to deny James McLean and Matt Phillips. Victory moves the Premier League rookies up to 10th place, while Albion remain two points above the relegation zone in 15th. Perfect anniversary for Wagner. Losel was outstanding. In the right moments he kept us in the game and made sure we got the massive three points, said Wagner of his goalkeeper. With Huddersfield still in buoyant mood after winning their last home game against Manchester United and West Brom in such poor form, this felt like a game from which the Terriers could take an important three points. Wagner's side began as if they believed that too. Dominating the first half in terms of possession and chances before Van Lapara's wonderful strike gave them a deserved lead at the break. Albion were however unhappy they were not awarded a free kick in the build-up to the goal when J. Rodriguez tangled with town midfielder Jonathan Hogg. Instead referee Roger East gave the decision to Huddersfield, who moved the ball forward and ended up scoring through Van Lapara's crisp strike. The complexion of the game predictably changed after Schindler's red card. The German receiving his second yellow for a clumsy late challenge on Ahmed Hegazi. But any fears among Huddersfield fans that their team would be unable to preserve the lead proved unfounded. The home side switched to a 5-3-1 formation and remained organized and resolute until Losel came to the rescue to deny substitutes McLean and Phillips. Wagner raced onto the pitch to hug his keeper at the final whistle as the home fans celebrated back-to-back -back home wins after the shock victory against Jose Mourinho's side last month. Defeat adds to Pulis pressure. West Brom had only won two of their previous 19 Premier League games before their trip to West Yorkshire, a poor sequence of results that has Baggy's boss Pulis in the spotlight. Polis has guided Albion to three mid-table finishes since taking over in January 2015. But those achievements have still not won over some sections of the Albion support. They are unhappy with Polis' methodical style of play and bemoan a lack of creativity in an Albion side that has scored just nine goals in their opening 11 Premier League matches. While it is thought Polis retains the full backing of the Albion board, some fans would have looked on this fixture as a game the Welshmen should win. However, they offered little threat as Polis persevered with a 5-3-2 formation that contained three holding midfielders and lacked guile when in possession.
Albion's heat map of the first 45 minutes shows how deep the side were, and they had just four touches in the Huddersfield box. Albion mustered just one shot on target in the first half and until the final few moments when they finally tested Losel, they struggled to open up their 10-man opponents. In truth they barely deserved a point after failing to impose themselves on the home side despite having an extra man. It hurts to go such a long time without winning a game, said Pulis. Things conspire against you sometimes and you don't get the breaks. I'm worried about the players more than anything else. Whereas I've been in this game too long to be affected by any criticism. Quote. More post-match reaction. Huddersfield manager David Wagner. Look how my players worked. What they left out there on the grass. It was an absolutely deserved win and I am delighted for my players because the workload was unbelievable. It was a great afternoon for us. We controlled the game up until the sending off, dominating it. Then after the red card we defended really, really well and I am absolutely delighted. There was a long time left in the game at the point of the sending off. More than half an hour and my players responded by showing a real Terrier's reaction. Quote, West Brom boss Tony Pulis. It was a wonderful goal. An outstanding goal. You can't blame our keeper, it was a great strike. You can't fault my players, who have worked incredibly hard. But we are in the results business and these results mean there is some pressure on me. When they went down to 10 men there were times when we could have displayed a little more care in the final third, but we were beaten by a wonder goal when it should have been a free kick given our way. And the crowd here is absolutely fantastic, it reminds me a little bit of Stoke City when we first got promoted. Quote, Media playback is not supported on this device Huddersfield 1-0 West Brom. It hurts to go this long without a win, Tony Pulis. Home comforts for Huddersfield, the stats. Huddersfield have now won 11 points at home in the Premier League this season, only Arsenal. 15. Manchester United. 15. And Manchester City. 13. Have earned more. Despite playing against 10 men for 33 minutes. West Brom. 49. 7%. Still enjoyed less possession overall than Huddersfield. 53%. West Brom have lost all eight of the competitive matches in which they have conceded the first goal since May 2017. This is West Brom's lowest points tally after 11 games of a Premier League season. 10. Since 2005-06. 8. When they were relegated. Rajiv Van Lepara's strike ended a run of 23 appearances in all competitions for Huddersfield. Without a goal. West Brom made a triple substitution in the match this first time that has happened in the Premier League this season. This was the first red card Roger East has given in the Premier League since September 2016-A. Period spanning 12 games. Man of the match, Rajiv Ben Lapara. Huddersfield. Ben Lapara was a doubt for the match after picking up an injury at Liverpool last week. The Dutch winger only lasted 62 minutes but was a nuisance for Albion throughout, and clinched the points for his side with a stunning winner. What's next? The international break means it is not until the 18th of November that Huddersfield travel to Bournemouth, and Albion host defending champions Chelsea at the Hawthorns. Follow Match of the Day on Instagram for the best photos from the world of football.